What's happening guys? Welcome back to the series on how to build a stock news crawler using Watson Discovery. In the last video, we went through how to set up our new first Watson Discovery service. In this video, we're going to start connecting our data. And specifically, we're gonna be using Watson's data crawler or web crawler, which is actually a really cool service because you can just plug in a link from anywhere on the website and it will automatically crawl that data each day or at a scheduled period, which is awesome and super powerful. All right, without further ado, let's jump right into it. So starting back off at where we ended up last time, you'll probably be at the Watson Discovery dashboard page. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to connect our data source. So to do that, we'll hit connect a data source. And what we're basically going to be doing is we're going to be setting up, up with our existing plan. So if you get this page, just hit set up with current plan and hit continue. Now from here, you've got a bunch of different data sources. If you're connecting your data or if you want to connect data from Salesforce or SharePoint or Box or your IBM Cloud Storage object, you can do that automatically. So the IBM Cloud Storage object is just the data store that you would have normally for other IBM platform data services. So in this case, if you've built something in Watson Studio, you can bring it into here as well. What we're gonna be doing though, is using a cool feature using the web crawl. And you can still see it's in beta, but it's awesome nonetheless. So we're gonna hit web crawl. And what this basically allows you to do is plug in a link. So you might be able to input a link for a news website or maybe a stock news website or a blog that you follow. And what the web crawler will do is periodically, it will go back to that website and crawl it and copy that data into your Watson discovery service. Now, you obviously need to be mindful as to how many times you're crawling that website because you don't wanna be absolutely hammering their server, but it's a really cool service nonetheless. So. What we're gonna do is we're gonna set it up with a few news websites that I've looked at over the last couple of weeks and we'll see if we can start getting some data into our Watson discovery service. So in this case, we're going to leave our data frequency or how often we crawl our data at once a week, but you can see that you can change it to different frequencies. So you can do it every five minutes, which is quite often. You can do it every hour, every day, week, and once a month. So we're gonna leave it as once a week we're gonna leave the language as English because we're going to be crawling English websites, but it's good to know that this feature is here in case you wanted to crawl websites that weren't in English so that Watson Studio can still run its NLP processes over those documents and extract the things that it's going to extract, which we'll talk about in the next video. But it's good to know that you can set that language. Last but not least, we want to enter in the URLs that we want to crawl. So in this case, I've got a few that I want to plug in here. And we're going to plug in Seeking Alpha. So let's copy that URL. So it's just seekingalpha.com forward slash market news forward slash all. If you want to copy this down, just jump over to the blog post. The link's in the description. It's all there. Uh, so we're going to add in Seeking Alpha. We're going to add in Market Watch. And we're also going to add in another link from the street. Perfect, all right. And then what we're going to do is hit save and sync objects. Now, what this is now going to go do is start going to those websites and start crawling that data. So this might take a little bit of time, but what you'll eventually start to see is this number of documents bump up and then Watson Discovery will start processing that data so that you can actually start using it. But that's really it, guys. You just need to define the links, set the crawl frequency, and Watson Discovery will do the rest for you and grab the data. That about wraps up this video. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked it, be sure to drop me a like, leave a comment, and share it. You'll be doing me a huge favor. Thanks so much, guys. Peace.